What's up guys, Alan's here, and well, ever since the How to Train Your Dragon movie franchise finished, I've been beginning to wonder if there's any movies created by DreamWorks that are gonna be able to compete on How to Train Your Dragon's level. Because the thing that this movie had that was special, with its true story, and of course the animation was spectacular, but I think what was a really key component to the How to Train Your Dragons film was the bond between a human and a dragon. Because it felt a little bit like Lilo and Stitch, and not just only about that, but it truly made me believe why dragons should exist in our world to this day, even though they're mythology. But that'd be cool though. But now we have movies like The Son of Bigfoot, and like The Missing Link, and of course, like The um, Smallfoot. And all those, what do you have in common? They're all something to do with gorilla shaped yetis or Sasquatch and all that. And the animation, I feel, is low budget. And the jokes are not that great. And just, I don't know. It doesn't feel like my type of interest. But then when I saw this uh, movie, I'm talking about The Abominable. Everything changed in my heart. Yes. The movie Abominable came out is coming out September 27th, 2019, and the story is about this girl named Yi, who uh, is trying to travel around the world, you know, because of her father deaf, and he wants her to travel. But then uh, her journey begins when she sees a Yeti on top of uh, her apartment building, and uh, that's because the Yeti escaped from the company which is uh, researched by Dr. Zara and of course the owner of that company to conduct experiments on it and actually make something worthwhile. So Yeti is trying to get back to his home and the only way he can get back home is with Yi's help. So Yi and uh, her couple of friends decide to go on a journey of a lifetime with magic and everything. Will he be able to make it back or will he be suffering awful consequences from science. So what do I think about this then? Well, I can think of many ways. I can see why this is created by How to Train Your Dragons. I mean, since it's DreamWorks. And for a non-Disney film, the animation is amazing. Like the detailing of like the Yeti and like the characters re really do show like emotions and that also supports the bond between Yi and the Yeti because as the movie progresses the Yeti can be kind of like symbolizing her father because she really misses him so much and with the Yeti like helping her and like showing magic and everything like their bond is truly spectacular I can kind of similarize like connect this to Hiccup and Toothless and How to Train a Dragon or Moana and the Magic Water in Moana, and much more. But another thing I could connect to this film that really reminds me of this film is Kubo and the Two Strings. Because in the movie, Yi has the magic violin that she got from the Yeti, and she could be able to do magic and stuff with it, just like the Yeti could with its powers. But in Kubo and the Two Strings, uh, I forgot the kid's name, but... He had a uh, magical, like, guitar, and whenever he plays it, paper comes off his, like, backpack and, like, forms, like, shapes and stuff that is beautiful magic, and the music is awesome. Yes, speaking of music, the music in Abominable is beautiful. It felt like I was listening to Japanese music in modern day, and just it brings the magic even more to the next level, which is cool. And really truly does like put to Yi in a very awesome position as a protagonist so I thought that was a cool element to the film brings the magic in general and and the way they animated the settings for like you know China and the Himalaya mountains is amazing like if I was dreaming in my bed I would hope to dream about this that would be the coolest thing ever like seriously I also really do like uh, the jokes that are used in this. Like, they, they use pretty much good humor to make the story more energetic, but at the same time, like, you know, 
this is supposed to be um, developing a bond moment. So they kind of switch back and forth, which is cool. And just, yeah, the cast was incredible in this film. Like, without a doubt, this is a good cast. Even though I won't recognize them, but they put their amazing effort into this film. Yeah, and director, you did a good job with this film. So, yeah. But how would I put this on level of the animated films? Like I said, for a non-animated Disney film, this is incredible. But if this was competing against Into the Spider-Verse or like other movies, I would say, yeah, no, this is a good runner-up. But I wouldn't say they're, it's totally better because there can be a little bit of flaws in the movie and kind of some unnecessary scenes that kind of, you know, make this a bit of a drag of a movie. But for a movie that is like an hour and 40 minutes, it's pretty good. Like, it really does uh, not take too long to get to the finale with its powerful message. But also could feel a little bit long at times. But it's still very good. And for that film, I would say very impressive with the visuals and everything. So how I say this as for a review score? I would definitely give this a 7.8 out of 10. With its amazing, with its good humor, good cast, of course, amazing music combined with amazing animated and visual, you truly create an animated film and not only that exceeds my expectation, but really, really, it truly makes this movie much more different than The Missing Link and the other Abominable Snowman movies. Well, that's the end of my review, guys. What did you guys think? Do you agree with my thoughts? Do you think Abominable Snowmans are awesome? Re type it down in the comments uh, below the description. And if you like my video, please like and subscribe to my channel. And press that notification bell so you can see more of my videos in the future. And I have a new trailer that just came out. So I put that link in the description. Yes. If you click on that link, for those that are new to this channel, go watch it. You'll see what's going on throughout my channel. And yeah, thanks guys for watching. Until next time, Flubinga.